Hey everyone, Steve Adwig here with DaVinci. We're at Crankworks 2023 in beautiful British Columbia. Today we're on a hunt for some of DaVinci's sickest riders to check out what bikes they're using for here. Let's go. No way, it's Cam Zinc. Oh, that was sick. Get back here. What's up, bro? Yo, dude, that How was are sick. You? How'd you get these chairs up here? Hello, man, have a seat. Let's chat some bikes. <laughs> right, we're lucky enough to track down Cam Zinc, free ride legend, releasing some of the craziest video parts of all time and throwing down world records all over your career. Stoked we'd have you. <laughs> what bike have you chosen for the Crankworks this year? For this Whistler trip, I was super pumped to build up this chainsaw that's custom painted, designed by Charlie Designs, painted by Impact Designs. This is a treat for the bike park. I'd say you probably got the sickest paint job on the hill right now. That I would totally agree with Absolutely that. nailed it. Helmet and bike, let's, come on, let's be fair. Looking good. Anything about this bike that uh, super unique to you, your setup, your tire pressures, components, anything you're loving? This is pretty much the same setup as I'd have uh, for a Rampage, and I, I never try to steer too far away from it, so I'm not getting used to something different. And I run the DH34 in the back, DH22 Michelin in the front. I run 31 PSI in the front, 36 in the back. Um, the only difference is normally I have a tube back here so I don't pop the bead. There's some boys sending it. Oh, that was sick. <laughs> and 155 cranks. Normally I'm even running 150s. Um, hope breaks. Fresh census grips. We got a new colorway. This is marble, black and white. Um, census crew pedals with tie spindles, onyx hubs. That's why it's so silent when I'm cruising down the hill. I noticed that. And got a census I beam SDG seat, carbon seat post shoved in there. And the push shock is a dream. And yeah, the fresh boxer. Oh, Didi, signature handlebars, CZ40. And, and of course, bread and butter is the frame, the chainsaw, the Vinci <laughs> chainsaw. Yeah, I'm loving mine. It's so good for the bike park, so it's cool to see you on one as well. Yeah, I'm loving this thing. Um, yeah, just before we go, in the bike park, what do you think is your strongest thing? What are you the best at? And what is something that the little 10-year-old Groms are 100% better at than you? I think my strong suit is probably just a variation of scrubs and whips and things like that. And the thing that the 10-year-old Groms are definitely better than me at are skinnies. I think yeah. I think skinnies are hilarious, and I <laughs> always like trying to do them, you know. And I like, you know, I like doing them, but I suck at them. I'm horrible. You know what's sad is I'm a North Shore boy. Like I should be good at them, and I actually suck at them yeah. too. So, <laughs> yeah, dude, thanks so much. Appreciate your time. Uh, sorry to stop you in the middle of your run, but uh, stoked to see you. Hopefully, catch a few laps with you. Thanks for bringing the chair up, so I could relax for a little bit. It's the way to be. Who is that? Looking good. Thanks, Looking man. Good. You got a couple minutes to chat about that fresh whip? Yeah, the fresh killer bee. Let's let's chat about it. Let's do it. Okay, we got Georgia Astle with us. One of my personal heroes and one of the most well-rounded riders I know from downhill, EWS, dirt jumping, pump track, but moto. Everybody. I don't actually think there's anything you don't do. <laughs> so thank you for giving us a few moments of your time. Yeah, it's great to be here. So. This is one of a kind, haven't seen this yet. What can you say about this bike? Yeah, so this is our DaVinci Global Team, our little special edition Spartan. So, so stoked on our new colors. So yeah, the yellow and black is kind of to go with the uh, DaVinci's new rebrand and it's been getting a lot of compliments this week. It's it's fun having a, a bright and unique bike. This. Yes! That's it. Crankworks is the best time of the year. It is. Okay, you do a lot of things. Do you change your setup very much between different things like whip off, racing, like, Anything you can talk about there? Yeah, I mean, this year, fortunately, I haven't been doing as much racing or needed to change to a race setup, but that's why I love having an air shock because it's super easy just to pump true. a little bit more air, take true, some true. out, change the compression and speed. I do slow my rebound down quite a bit and I add a lot of pressure to my tires and suspension if I'm doing whip off or yeah, if I'm hitting You're going jumps. huge, makes sense. Yeah, yeah, I like having a stiffer bike for that just because it's more predictable, I find. You got so many cool parts on there. Like, yeah. Do you want to give a, a bit of a run through some of the specifics, some of these 
beautiful parts you got yeah, on Yeah, some of my favorites, like new to me this year, is the Haze brakes. I'm so impressed with them, and I, I'm really picky about my brakes. I've, me too. Yeah, so I've been really impressed. I, I haven't had to do much to them, honestly. Like, I don't have to bleed them heaps. I'm not fiddling around, and normally I'm always messing with the lever throw. So stoked with those. Um, new Axis drivetrain has been really fun figuring out. Uh, yeah, it was... It was awesome while I was racing. I was unsure how it was gonna go. Love it. Yeah, like I said, air shock and then mullet set up on this bike. So really nice. Pretty dialed. I mean, this might be hard for you, but two questions for you. Okay. Bit of a loaded question. What do you think you're the best at in the bike park? Like, what's your strongest suit? And then what is one thing that these little Whistler Groms are just untouchable in? Yeah, well, okay, I do have a good answer to that because I grew up riding, I mean, not grew up, grew up, but like I've been in the bike park for ages and I've hit jumps forever, but I have such a racer style. So I think that's why A-Line I'm so good at. I love both going fast and hitting jumps and I have a, a racer style while hitting jumps. Um, Groms are both fast and steezy while hitting jumps. It's nuts. It's nuts. It's so, just, it's, it's so, Yeah. it's awesome, but it's, it's frustrating. Well, yeah. thanks for a few moments of your time. No Look worries. forward to riding with you and yeah. I'll, yeah, buddy. <laughs> Uh, and I'll you let you get back to it. Thank you. Thanks yeah. so much. See you, Steve. Cheers. Wow. Those are the thickest jibs I've ever seen. Yo, you got a moment to talk about that bike? That was sick, dude. Fancy seeing you here. What's happening? Chilling. You got a couple uh, moments to talk about that bike? Hell yeah. Have a seat, dude. Oh, no way. All right, we've managed to snag Jack Pelland, AKA Thick Jibs. Probably the sweetest style I've possibly ever seen and the most frustrating person to shoot a bike release video with because he's so much faster than me. Dude, you're insane. Uh, what bike have you chosen for the bike park and uh, Crankworks 2023? Yes, Steve, thanks for having me. I've got my, uh, my 2023 uh, DaVinci Chainsaw and um, I got it set up pretty perfect for me for riding bike park and doing some hucks and some pulls and wheelies and skids, you know? Just like we saw so, up there. Yeah. Unreal, man. Yeah, well, we got the bike here. Do you want to just talk a little bit about your setup, your cranks, your bar stem? What, what do you got going for on sure. here? For sure. Yeah, so I've got a uh, bike set up in the uh, full 29 front and rear, um, 165 race face cranks. My bars are race face atlases. They're cut to 780. Um, I run a pretty neutral, like, compression rebound. Compression's kind of open, actually. Okay. Rebound's pretty fast. Planted tire pressure. We got 24 in the front, 29 in the rear. Push okay. cores front and rear. Nice. Um, keep that bead on for those roosts. Yeah, seriously. Yeah. HT pedals. Clip guy. Eh? Clipped in. Yeah. And uh, ODI grips. Oh, we got another. Oh, da Vinci chainsaw. <laughs> Curious though, are you doing any competitions while you're up here? Um, I'm not, I'm just taking Crankworx pretty chill. And um, I did a Tour de Nar on uh, Wednesday there. I saw that. That was pretty insane, it was a pretty sweet opportunity. Like for a day in the bike park versus like a free ride day like that, do you run your setup any differently? Um, I went a little bit different. I actually went a little softer um, on the suspension and um, a little slower rebound. Lower tire pressure, of course, for the rock slabs. I was a little nervous. Yeah, so. that was a wet day. Yeah, yeah, it was a little burly in the morning. But um, yeah, everything else kind of stayed the same to what I usually run, more of a set it and forget it kind of guy, so. Can you say what your favorite thing about this bike is? Favorite thing about the bike, it's light. It is. It's quiet. It does a really good skid and a good stoppy, so. It looks good, man. Good you, for gripping. You, you built it up nice. You look insane on the bike. Uh, before you go, I just gotta, I gotta ask you, what are you best at in the bike park? And what is one thing that the little 10 year old Groms are way better at than you? <laughs> Things I'm good at in the bike park, gaps, yeah. just sketchy gaps and turns probably. The Groms are definitely probably faster than me and do okay. way bigger whips. It's so insane. Yeah. I'm a little jealous, but you know. Yeah, man. That, uh, thanks for taking a little time out of your lap today. Appreciate it. Carry on. Thanks for having me. Keep jibbing. Thick. Oh, it's Greg Callahan. Get back here. Yo, dude. Hey, Steve. How are you? Good, how are you? Awesome, man. 
Mind if we do a quick bike check? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, first rider we found today, Greg Callahan, Enduro World Cup weapon, trials magician, and uh, Irish gentleman. Uh, what bike have you chosen for the bike park today? Yeah, so I brought the Troy with me today. Um, going for a little nimble fella. And uh, yeah, I've been loving it. I've been throwing quite a lot at it. And yeah, for quite a small travel bike, it's seriously capable, so I've been loving it. Yeah, amazing. Are you uh, competing in any events this year? Yeah, I'm gonna race the Enduro this weekend. So I uh, throw my hat in for, for Canadian Nationals. Nice. <laughs> just curious though, do you, like for the racing versus the uh, just a day in the bike park, do you set your bike up any differently? Not really, to be honest. Like the thing with Enduro is your bike needs to be pretty rideable because you're going from like being fresh at the top of the stage to quite fatigued. So when you're fatigued, you need the bike to be quite comfortable so you don't go super stiff and fast or anything crazy like that. So that's quite the good thing is that my setup, I can, I can ride all the time and it suits the bike park quite well because it's slightly on the stiffer side. So yeah, it's Perfect. Good. Yeah, this thing's beautiful. Is there any uh, anything about this bike that's specific to you or anything cool that you have? Um, so I've beefed it up a bit. Uh, so I put a 38 on the front. I'm running that at 170. So uh, yeah, that, that's quite good. It gets me out of trouble a bit and that stiffness is quite nice. And then uh, put downhill tires on, but otherwise like it's pretty, pretty standard Troy. You know, I've added on like the one up, uh, I've got the pump on this side and the EDC tool in the top cap. So uh, yeah, I'm like covered for most uh, anything that can happen really. Amazing. Um, mm. I don't know, people always want to know uh, what's your bike park pressure? When you're riding a little bit of a smaller bike, uh, downhill mm. casing, what's your pressure? So I'm quite soft on the tires generally. Uh, so like normally I'd run 21 in the front, 23 in the back, and I've just gone up one PSI here. Uh, so 22 in the front, 24 in the back. Um, in terms of suspension pressures, I've got 106 in the fork with two tokens, and 215 in the rear with one token. Yeah, it seems to be working. You greased that line back there. Uh, I gotta know though, uh, two part question. What, uh, what's your favorite part of the bike park? What do you think you're best at? And uh, what is one thing that the little 10 year old Groms are 100% better at than you? Uh, yeah, so in the bike park, like, a, like everyone, I love the jump lines, but for me, the best stuff is the technical stuff, like like Schleyer here. Um, yeah, I, lo I love slow tech. That's what kind of gets me, me too. Going. As for the Groms, it's hard to only pick one. Jumps and berms, definitely, and just generally being steezy. You can't beat them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're so good. Them. Amazing, man. Well, this thing looks amazing. Best of luck in your day, and stoked yeah. to see you on the trails. Thank you. Cheers. All right, that wraps it up for Crankworks 2023. Bike checks and all the Da Vinci athletes. There's some super sick bikes out there. Come back next year, 2024, and see what's next. Take care.